Welcome to my channel and to the series Deep Learning with Keras and TensorFlow 2.0. In this series, we have learned quite a lot so far. We know how to create deep learning models from scratch using both sequential and the functional API. We know how to do pre-processing in Keras and we know how to test and train the models. In this video, I wanted to focus specifically on the Keras LSTM layer. And I especially wanted to focus on how to prepare data for the LSTM models. If you have watched my previous videos, you know that we have talked about Keras.input object and specifically how we define this shape for Keras.input object. This video is different because it focused specifically on what LSTM is expecting. And at the, and at the end, I will relate what LSTM is expecting to Keras.input object. Now, if you have worked with Keras LSTM layer, you may have struggled to understand what this is. So here it says one of the call arguments, it says that input expected shape is batch, size, time steps, and features. For somebody who is new, it is really confusing as to what this shape expected shape is and the inputs object that we discussed in one of our previous videos so my hope is that by the end of this video you will be able to properly reshape your input data to the format that keras lsm layers is expecting which is batch size time steps and features so in order to understand how to reshape our data we will start with an example so this is a pretty simple example and it's a time series data the reason why i pick, i picked a time series data is because lstm models are generally used for the time series data so in this data we have three samples uh, so what we are doing is for three consecutive days we are collecting pressure measurements for 10 consecutive hours so T0, T1, T2, let's say these are like 12 p.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., so forth and so on. And we are collecting the pressure measurements at these hours for three days. So we have three samples in our data set, one for each day. Now, the shape of this data is for this entire data set is 3 by 10. So we have three rows, three samples, and for each sample we have 10 data points, so 3 by 10. If you feed this data to LSTM Keras layer as is, what you are going to get is error. So this is what we're going to fix and learn in this video. Okay, so before we understand how to reshape our data into the LSTM, uh, into what LSTM is expecting, once again, our data contains one sample, three samples, and each sample is containing 10 elements. So what LSTM is expecting is that it wants the data set to be of this format. It wants batch size, time steps, and feature. So we can easily reshape this data into what LSTM is expecting by simply using reshape function of a numpy. So all we have to do is we have to say an numpy.reshape and give it the data x that we are that we want to reshape and specify the shape that we want this reshape data to be. So this is what we we need to understand how to give the shape here. So if we go back to what LSTM is expecting, so it's expecting the batch size first as first dimension, time steps, how many time steps you have, and then how many features you have in each time step. So in what we are going to give here is three, batch size is three, because this is just the number of samples you have here in our data set. So we'll just set the batch size equal to the number of samples you have. So in this case, it's three. Now, each sample has 10 time steps so that's why we give it 10. for the feature what this means is that at each time step how many 
elements or features do we have? So in this case, at each time step, we have one element. We have only one feature. So we are only collecting pressure measurement at each time step. So our feature number of features at each time step is one. So we're going to reshape our data into three, 10, and one. So once the data is reshaped and we feed this into LSTM model, it's going to work beautifully and give you what you're expecting. Let's look at a little bit more complicated example. So here, it's just the extension of the previous example. The only difference is that now at each time step, we are collecting two measurements. We are collecting the pressure and we're collecting the humidity. So each sample consists of two rows and 10 columns. So we still have 10 time steps, but at each time step, we are collecting two measurements. So we have two features. So the shape of this data is going to be three we have three samples and each sample contains two rows and ten columns if we feed this into our lstm models it may work but it's not going to give you what you are expecting because lstm is expecting your data to be batch size time steps and features if you give this data what you are telling is that i have two time steps and i have 10 features which is actually not the case we have 10 time steps and we have two features per time step. So we have to reshape this data and we're simply going to use numpy.reshape and specify the shape that we want. So again, three is the batch size. And in this case, we are setting the batch size equal to the number of samples we have. And then for the time step, we specify how many time steps we have. We have 10 here. And then we have at each time step, we have two features so this is how we're going to reshape our data and you can generalize this to however many features you have in your data set so this is how we prepare data for lstms now as i said in the beginning how does this relate to the input keras.input object so important thing to remember is that the reshaping that we did that was specifically on the test and train data so on our entire data set we are going to reshape our entire data set into batch size time steps and features then after that is done we are going to specify whatever is the shape after we have reshaped so let's look at an example of what i mean so in this case after we reshaped the data for uh, to the format that LSTM is expecting. So we have 3, 10, and 1. Then here, when we specify keras.input, we're going to specify the shape of each sample after reshape. So each sample is 10, 1. So we're going to specify 10, 1. So that's how they are related. So in summary, what we learned in this video is how to prepare data for Keras LSTM layer and specifically what it needs it it needs to have a batch size time step and number of features so don't forget to reshape both test and train data that's all for this video and if you are finding this content useful please subscribe it gives me a little, little bit more motivation to keep going to know that this content is being helpful for somebody out there please subscribe i would love to have you as part of my channel thank you and see you in the next one